up a double double while you're at it, okay? Yo, what's up? Uh, is this Elsa Sibylhoff? Used to be. Now it's just Sybil. Sybil? Sybil. That's what I'm gonna call myself when I audition for Canadian Idol. You're a singer? Rock star. At least I'm about to be. Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. I'm calling from the Icicle Creek Lodge. I hear you had some tire problems while you were here. Oh, yeah, right. It was that wolf. I heard it howling all night, and the next morning I went outside, and it just ripped my tires apart, every single one of them. That place is jinxed. I had to quit. Working there was just plain dangerous. So, if you're trying to deny my unemployment claim, forget it. I had every right to leave that job. No, no, I'm just trying to get additional information, that's all. Oh, well, bad stuff was happening all over the place up there. One guy fell down the stairs and broke his leg, his whole family got food poisoning, and now I hear they got bombs going off up there. It's just a bad place to work, you know? My unemployment claim is totally legit. Your tires getting all torn up like that didn't have something to do with L, did it? Uh, L? L, as in I'm going to sell your collection of troll dolls on eBay? <sighs> you found his stupid letters. Okay, so it was Larry. My insanely jealous ex-boyfriend. He got all crazed when I couldn't take time off to visit him and slash my tires, a psycho. I blamed it on the wolf so I'd have a legitimate reason to quit and get on the pogey for a while. I just needed some time off and some cash. Just enough to jumpstart my career, you know? Because I got talent. I really do. <sighs> well, you're right. I shouldn't have lied like that. Look, I'll contact the unemployment office and tell them the truth, okay? Good idea. What happened to Larry? All I know is he's finally out of my life. Take it from me. Do not ever, ever, ever think for one second that having a jealous boyfriend is in any way, shape, or form a good thing. Because it's not. It's the worst. Got that, Nanook? Uh, Nancy. In fact, I'm writing a song about it. It's called Slash Your Jealousy, Spare My Tires. Get it? Spare My Tires? I'll probably sing it on Canadian Idol. Hey, you want to hear it? Uh, no. In fact, I'd better get going. Good luck on the show, though, and thanks for the advice. Anytime. Hello? Hi, is this Mr. Jenkins? Yeah, this is Carl. Nuts. Missed you. Well, my name is Nancy Drew. I heard that you had an accident at Icicle Creek Lodge and wondered if you could tell me a little more about it. Not much to tell. I... Ha! Take that, Captain Keen! I went there to do a little ice fishing, and I slipped going down some stairs and fractured my tibia in two places. Can't work. Can't go out. All I can do is sit around and play this stupid video game. Oh, no, you don't! Do you know why you slipped on those stairs? Yeah, they were covered with ice. I was lucky I didn't fracture my skull. Ah, yes, yes. Hey, look, I'm about four laser strikes away from ruling the Gargulian galaxy, so I gotta go, okay? You got any more questions? Check with the people at the Lodge. Gotcha! Are you Mrs. Farringdale? Put your socks on in the car, okay? We're late. This better not be a sales call because I really don't have time. No, no. My name is Nancy Drew and I'm calling from the Icicle Creek Lodge. You know, in Canada. After what happened to me and my family, I have no intention of going back there ever. No matter how many freebies you throw in. I thought I made that clear. Put that cookie down and get in the car. I'm not really with the lodge. I just wondered if you could tell me what happened. The three of us had meatloaf, potato salad, and green beans for dinner one night. And by four the next morning, we were all sick as dogs and had to be taken to the hospital. We recovered quickly, thank goodness. But the minute we got out, we went straight to the airport. I will never set foot in that lodge again. The worst of it is, I made poor little Susie eat all of her potato salad that night. Eat it, I said. It's cold out. You need the carbs. Now she refuses to eat any kind of potatoes, even french fries. All our friends think she's a freak. And all our friends' mothers think I'm a freak for going to Canada for winter break instead of Disney World like everyone else. Turn that TV off. I have to go. Susie's got a soccer game and I'm snack mom. Only I haven't been to the store yet. Maybe I can sneak out during halftime. Sure, just pull out the orange slices and no one will notice. Oh my gosh, the orange slices. Susie, get in the car. We have to go right now. <laughs> Bop, 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 bop,
Hi, is this Brenda and Derek Southway? Yes, it is. Is this a solicitation? Honey, you're so suspicious. Only because you can be way too nice for your own good, darling. I'm not selling anything. I just want to ask you about your recent stay at Icicle Creek Lodge. You mean Gassicle Leak Lodge? Oh, very clever, sweetie. Gas was leaking from so many places while we were there, it's a wonder the place didn't blow sky high. I heard something about your almost being overcome by fumes in the sauna. Well, we had just gone ice skating, so we decided to warm up in the sauna. So we were sitting in there, and everything was fine, until both of us started feeling a little woozy. We started feeling a lot woozy. And the next thing we knew, that Russian skier came in. Actually, I think he was Slovakian. The point is, he told us he smelled gas and thought we should get out, so we did. Barely. By that point, the fumes were making us both ill, if you know what I mean. That poor skier. By the time he helped us get out of there, he was almost as green as we were. Awful experience. Horrible. And it was our honeymoon. Well, at least the owner had the decency to give us a full refund. Oops, the shuttle's here, sweetheart. We're off to Aspen. Kind of a second first honeymoon. Long story short, if you're thinking about going to Icicle Creek Lodge, don't. Well, I appreciate the advice. Have fun. Oh, we will. Bye. Bye. Hello? Hi, Ned. It's Nancy. Hey, Nance. I couldn't tell it was you because you're not calling from your cell phone. No coverage out here. I'm in the middle of the Canadian Rockies, remember? Oh, I haven't forgotten. Everything okay? Well, as a matter of fact, just as I got here, the bunkhouse blew up. Yikes. So there was another act of sabotage? Or it could have been an accident. The sheriff is running some tests, and I haven't taken a really good look at the crime scene yet. Nothing like starting things off with a bang. Sorry, couldn't resist. A lone wolf has been hanging out around the lodge lately. A wolf? That's kind of cool. The handyman, Ollie Randall, is bound and determined to get rid of it. Says it doesn't act the way normal wolves act. Really? Maybe there's something wrong with it. Something that would make it dangerous. You keep your eyes open when you're outside, Nancy. Bad news. Chantal is insisting that if I need help, I get it from this police consultant she hired. A guy named Tino Balducci. Tino Balducci? Not that cop That's who... the one. How does Chantal know him? All I know is she thinks he's charming. And for this case, I have to get all my hints from him. Well, I'm sure he'll be very helpful. Not as helpful as, say, I would have been, of course, but very helpful. Gotta go. I'll call you again. Good luck up there. And be, be careful. careful. Goodbye, Ned. I better not follow this trail until I know for sure where it goes. Ha! Who goes there? Uh, Nancy Drew? Nancy Drew shall not pass unless and until she proves herself worthy. And how does she do that? By hitting the snow princess ten times. Snowballs only, no ice balls. What are ice balls? Snowballs made of ice. If you get hit with one, it can knock you out. So don't throw it or I'll tell my dad. You must be Ollie's daughter, Freddy. I am the snow princess. Prepare to defend yourself. <laughs> You will go before the Snow Princess decides to seek revenge. The face from a clock, it's all melted. Part of the timing device that was used to trigger the bomb that blew up the bunkhouse, maybe?
much better. I was really cold. Hi, this is Nancy Drew at the Icicle Creek Lodge. We met the other night when you were investigating the bunkhouse explosion. Oh, yeah, that uh, bright kid from the States. Uh, what do you need? Well, I found a melted clock face close to where the bunkhouse used to be, and I wondered if it could have been what triggered the explosion. You know, the timer. I found that clock face, too. Left it there because any fingerprints on it would have melted away along with everything else. And besides, Ollie Randall said all the room clocks at the lodge looked like that. Could have been one that was in the bunkhouse to begin with. Oh, right. You shouldn't go poking around on your own like that. There could still be explosives lying around. <laughs> Although, I hear it takes a pretty big bang to set off C4. C4? A plastic explosive. That's what blew up the bunkhouse. Lab result came in less than an hour ago. <laughs> Did the lab results show anything else? Nope. Unfortunately, that bunkhouse wasn't particularly well made, so when it exploded, pretty much everything got melted into a blob or blown to smithereens or burned to a crisp. That C4 plastic explosive stuff, I'm assuming it's not something you can just buy at your basic hardware store? No, but it's not that difficult to get. Well, not if you're in the military or do any kind of demolition. In Eastern Europe, it's called Semtex. It's not that hard to handle, either. For somebody who's had training in explosives, it's a piece of cake. Do you need some kind of permit to hunt wolves around here? No, ma'am. You mean Ollie Randall can go after that white wolf that's been hanging around outside the lodge and just shoot it? Yes, ma'am. It's always open season on wolves out here. You can kill as many of them as you want. Somehow that doesn't seem right. Well, the animals wolves go after don't have a problem with it. I can guarantee you that. I'll let you get back to work. Have a good day. As long as it's not time to cook, I might as well stay out of the kitchen. Order up. Order up. This ain't right.
Order up. Order up. I better not follow this trail until I know for sure where it goes. Hold! By order of the Snow Princess, you shall not pass! Guess I better get this pawn shoveled off.
That ought to do it. Wait a second. Those look like wolf tracks. Maybe I should find out where they go. That must be Trapper Dan's needle. What's this doing here? Strange, it's halfway in and halfway out. This thing must open up somehow. 